Hey guys, as you've seen in my mailbag episode, I got myself a new ESP module. This is the old ESP01, and this is the new ESP12 I just received. As you can see, this only has eight pins, and only two of those are GPIO pins that we can use. And this one actually has, let's see, eight plus eight, that's 16 pins, and eight of those are actually usable GPIO pins. So, as you can see, I have eight of those pins just directly connected to these eight LEDs. Two of those are not in use. And then they're connected to plus via these current limiting resistors. So from plus goes through the LED, from the LED goes to the GPIO. So when the GPIO is slow, the LED will turn on. And this is just an FTDI. It's actually not used right now. That's what I used to program it. I mount this upside down because I want to see those pinouts it's really easy to uh, read the pins. They're kind of small, but still readable. And then what I did is I take some LED leads and I feed it through the really, really tiny, but it actually still work. So I feed, I, see, I, I hope you could see those, uh, those holes. So I feed the lead in there and solder them one by one while I have it mounted on the breadboard. So it works really well, I thought. And even though it's upside down, the Wi-Fi seems to work just fine. Um, I suppose because the shielding probably prevent signal from going out of here and it's actually using the antenna. And the antenna upside down probably doesn't make much of a difference. So um, yeah, other than that, I, like I said, I have the FTDI here and I have the uh, voltage regulator converting the five volts coming from the wall ward here to 3.3 volts that he needs of course and then there's just a couple resistors for level shifting and that's it and then the whole thing I program using the Arduino IDE for ESP that work really good as you can see this line I'll, I'll share the, the code and it's just a couple lines and it's pretty amazing so next is trying to actually use the Wi-Fi which is what this is for but at three dollars a piece you basically have an Arduino with eight digital pins and one analog pin and Wi-Fi for free. I don't see how you could beat that. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>